Hey everybody, Brad Bischoff here. I am in no way a mechanic or mechanically inclined in general, but we have an 05 Dodge Magnum that won't go out of park. Start the car, put the brake down, it will not leave park. Um, we had a guy come down who was going to tow us to the nearest service station. He has a Chrysler S300 and had the same problem and gave us this quick fix. Now there's a way to replace the actual part that you need to um, with the metal part that I found at O'Reilly's. It's a uh, shift interlock latch. And it's a metal version of the plastic part that uh, Dodge installed in this thing, which is ridiculous, but that's what it is. So I'm going to show you the fix. It's not going <clears> to not going to show you how to replace the actual part. I'll post a link to a great guy that did a very in-depth tutorial on how to actually replace the part, which I'm going to do. But this is a fix the guy showed me how to do and it's really easy and it will get you out of a jam probably. So we'll get started and keep it pretty short and simple. So just to kind of show you real quick, start the car. <clears throat> Brake is down and when I go to put it out of park, it won't go. It's stuck, right? So all you got to do is pop this off. Mine's a little loose because it uh, was taken off earlier, but you can just pry it with a flathead screwdriver or something, get that off there. I don't know if you can see this, and I'm going to try real hard to get, get it in there, but basically, you've got your shifter knob, and then you've got this kind of, I guess, plastic little piece that goes in front of it, right? Well, if I put my, I've just got a regular pencil here, just a plastic, you know, <clears throat> pencil, and what there is, is there's the cable that's attached to the part that's malfunctioned that I'm going to replace. There's a cable that runs this way, and it kind of runs off, you know, a little bit off from this, this tab here. So it kind of runs this way, and all you got to do is shove a pencil right up against that edge, stick it down in there, pretty much to the bottom. And this going to be hard to do in, in a video at the same time. Basically, you want to push that wire that's running this way, push it out this way, and that will allow the car to shift. So I'll try to do this with the video camera in my hand. It's going to be hard. So I want to push out, and that's putting pressure on that cable. And there you go. No problem. Now the cool thing with the Dodge is too, is that right now it's a neutral. I engage the parking brake, so the car's not going anywhere. I can still turn the car off. I can still set the alarm. Disable the alarm. I can start the car. And I can just go ahead and, you know, put it in drive or reverse. So at this point, the vehicle's fully operational as long as I leave it neutral and don't put it in park. I don't have to deal with this issue again. But see how easy that was? So now, I'll give you a little better view here. This is where the pencil went in, right up against that that plastic clip, and then I just push that cable out of the way. Just give it some pressure this way. That'll release the cable and allow you to take the car to park. All right. So there you go. Okay. So the new metal assembly is in place now. That spring is attached. Crazy thing is, this is the, the factory spring or factory mechanism, that little bad boy right there, if you can even believe that, is what they say will work. Hold on, pardon me. So that came off of there. Hope that was helpful. I'm Brad Bischoff. If you like this video, subscribe, comment, and I uh, appreciate it. Hope this helps you out. Sure helped us out and saved us a lot of money. Okay, take care.